Jack it up. Hi, my name is Stella and I'm a violin teacher and on today's lesson I will teach you how to play on the violin the C melodic minor scale in one, two and three octaves. So get your violin ready and let's get started. So first of all, I would like to talk a little bit about changes that we will see ascending and descending the scale. When we ascend the scale, we have, instead of flat on the 6th and the 7th degree, we're going to see natural. So the B is going to become B natural and the A is going to become A natural. But when we ascend, when we ascend, we have those naturals. But when we descend, we will see that the 6th and the 7th degree becomes flat again. So let's get started and play the scale on the violin. First of all, we're going to play the first octave. It starts on the C, and we know by now how to get to the C or the third finger, because on the first octave we, we stay on the first position, right? So I'm going to play the ascending. That was only the ascending part where the 6th and the 7th degree are natural. So, A natural, B natural, C. But then when we descend, when we go back, we have to lower. So, we have to go back to the B flat and A flat with the 4th finger. So, So one more time. So let's play the whole scale again, only the first octave. That was only the first octave. So let's go now to the second octave. Now we're moving on to the next octave, to the second octave of the C melodic minor scale. The same way that we played the first octave, we have to play the second octave. So on the ascending part, we have B and A natural. But when we descend, when we come back, we have to play those two notes, the 6th and the 7th degree, flat. So the B becomes flat and the A becomes flat. So I will demonstrate for you on the violin how we play those on the 2nd octave. So we start also with the 1st octave first. And we play the rhythm pattern T, 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 T or Ta 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 ta. So one knot on one bow, a quarter knot on each bow. And now on the descending part, the B natural and the A natural becomes flat. So I have to move the third finger back. And the A back. So I have to lower it, 
right? I have to lower the finger and move it back. So one more time. That's the ascending part. So they were natural notes. A natural. Which I can check with the open A. But now, on the descending part, when we're coming down, we have to move the finger back, lower it back. The third and the second finger. So, we move them back. And you can play it with two together. If you like you can use the metronome or you can tap the beat on your foot right so you keep your beat on the foot like this and you can count one two three four one two three four and I usually have it for 44 BPM the quarter notes or you can go 30 to start slow and then you increase the speed gradually. Now we're moving on to the three octave C melodic minor scale. So it's the same thing as the first and second octave but we have to start differently. We start here instead of the third finger we start with the second finger on the G string so the first note is C natural, correct? So we have to do the shifting, the first shifting here before we start playing. So G, A, and then B, C. Then we shift the second finger where the third finger was. And we start with that finger. And it's C natural. That was the whole three octave C melodic minor scale. Now I'm going to show you where we shift, the parts where we have to shift and we have to practice slowly before you play the whole scale. Okay? So first shifting happens here on the second position where we go into the third with the second finger. G a, B, C. Then 
then we have to move the finger, the second finger, this finger, we have to move it over to the third and then takes the place of the third finger. That's the C natural, that's the starting point of the scale, C melodic minor. That is the second shifting that is happening from C natural to F natural. And that is the third shifting that's happening here. So we have from the C to the F natural shifting. So we have to find the F like this first with the fingers down. Then we have to move. We have to play the fourth finger with the first finger. And there we go. We got it right. Now we have to do the third shifting. So we are here on the fifth position. This shifting. Okay, so that's the third shifting that's happening on the scale. So that was the whole lesson about the C melodic minor scale in one, two, and three octaves. I hope this was helpful to you. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you and see you next time. Jack it up.